Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? It's Charles, and today I'm in the office of a wonderful, beautiful organization <laughs> of some youth, that, some, some younger guys here in Serbia started this organization, and it's called Serbia for Youth. And I have been honored and, and blessed enough to join this organization with some fine, fine people here. And, you know, the, the whole uh, concept of this organization and why it was started was by a bunch of young people that wanted to keep Serbian youth inside Serbia and help Serbian kids travel all around this beautiful country. There's so many things in this country to see and do. And these guys really had the initiative to start this. I think it's phenomenal. It's fantastic. And I'm very honored to join this organization. And I'm here beside me, this good looking young man right here. He is a Brazilian. His name's <laughs> Tiago, and he's a really good friend of mine, and he's a member of this organization also. A very, very passionate young man that can speak Serbian. He's been <laughs> here for maybe a year. He makes me feel bad. I've been here off and on for three years and speak Slavo. <laughs> and this guy speaks like a pro, man. So anyway, Tiago, nice to see you, brother. It's nice being with you in this video. Definitely, yeah. man. So when, <laughs> tell me a bit about yourself. I mean, when did you come here? So, uh, yeah, like Charles said, I came from Brazil, from Rio de Janeiro, because of a girl. Uh, if you want to know more about the whole love story and all details, you can also find me on YouTube. Try to find, uh, try to type Brazilian who speaks Serbian. Type that in Serbian. Brazilian koji govori srpski. You're going to find me for sure. Uh, and um, I, 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 must, I was a student of tourism. I came here. I'm also uh, continuing my uh, studies. And I found these guys uh, a year ago, last December. And I was amazed because I, was a I came from Brazil and I really fell in love with Serbia. And like you promote Serbia abroad, I started promoting Serbia to Brazilians. I write a blog in Portuguese and uh, I also have a Facebook page, a YouTube channel. So, uh, and when I found these guys from Serbia for Youth, I, 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 I was amazed because they're Serbian young people who promote Serbia to uh, other Serbians to make it interesting for other Serbians to travel and to get to know it. They want to show a cool side of Serbia. They want to show Serbia from the youth point of view. So, so that's, uh, a, <laughs> that's a very good thing. <laughs> Uh, and of course, I joined forces, and I'm very happy to welcome uh, Charles Kather into the team. Welcome aboard. <laughs> um, and we would like, and we're making this video actually to let you know about uh, about the organization Serbia for Youth. Uh, you can find us on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter. Uh, this is the office, um, and we're like uh, right now we're organizing this trip for New Year's. We're going to Zlatar. Oh, it's an amazing <laughs> trip. This trip here. I posted a couple days on Facebook, and I should have done a little bit more, but for 39 euros, you can go, what is it? You get three nights in a hotel, four days, in Zlatar Mountain, which is in, in West Serbia. Yeah, it's the and most it, beautiful part of Serbia, let's say, where nature is the, the best looking, the most uh, untouched. <laughs> and, and that's just amazing. How, how do you do that? How, how are you able to, how is this organization, how did they get the ability to do things like this. I mean, that's amazing, you know. We're, we're a bunch of uh, enthusiastic young people who love Serbia and who really are proud to be here and we want to promote it in the best way possible. Yeah. Um, and so we're young and we know that young people don't have a lot of money. So we always try to get the best deals. We work in partnership with uh, tourism organizations and uh, and they always try, we always try to show them that the potentials of youth tourism, how much uh, young people can contribute to the development of a tourism destination. So they always try to make, help us with the prices, trying to make the best deals. Wow. So we managed to get this 39 euros for New Year's, four days, three nights, uh, with transportation from, Be from Belgrade included, the, the accommodation, and three parties, <laughs> party every night. 39 euros, that's yeah. unbelievable. In Brazil, that yeah. would cost at least, oh. I don't know. <laughs> Damn, you know a lot of places. There's a lot of kafanas and, and things here in Belgrade. I checked, I was trying to find something to do, and I found like a, a little kafana that's just one night, it's like 30 euros. And here in Belgrade, it's like 50 or 60 euros for a night. So you, here we get yeah. like three days, four, you know, three nights, four the days. The thing is, beautiful. a lot of people were interested, and now we're, we're pretty much sewed out. Oh, we, wow. we booked everything in the hotel. Uh, there, we might find some more uh, accommodation, additional, or we're going to find out tomorrow or until the end of this week. So you stay in touch uh, on our Facebook page. We're going to let everybody know about it. 
but before besides that we organize trips all year long we go to the most different places we organize parties uh, events uh, conferences so if you want to uh, discover Serbia from a completely new point of view from from the point of view of young people always interesting always dynamic always uh, showing Serbia from the most uh, interesting in the most interesting way possible you should come by our office we're located in Belgrade in the center on Balkanska uh, Street number 18 uh, office 99 you can stop by at any time and uh, join me Charles in, in some trip we can uh, have some fun around Serbia and discover this country there's a lot of places that we had no idea existed and we're always you know, speaking of that we, we just <laughs> was speaking earlier this gentleman here in Serbia started this this is an, an experience to find every waterfall in Serbia and they just these these guys went to the tourism organization and, and had a big uh, like meeting or uh, you know speech thing about this this here and he started this in what 2000 2004 2004 this guy has went around Serbia and found every waterfall and has every a document single here. waterfall there's so many things every single day I'm here in Serbia you find something different to do that you had no idea was there and I'm doing this whole film series all around Serbia I thought I knew many things you come in here for 10 seconds I flip through some literature and I find things I had no yeah. idea existed yeah so we've got we've got representatives from South America from North America, you know, it, the one thing I don't like, Tiago, is because this is Serbia for youth, and I'm I'm three uh, three uh, three decades <laughs> not three decades said them, so I'm the old man in this organization. No. But my my mentality is like a 13 year. But that's the so. most important thing. Uh, it's Serbia for youth. Uh, officially, youth is considered people that are from 18 to 30, 30s, 4, 5 years old. So you're already 37, but there's the thing, if you have a mentality of a young person, you can travel with us. We, I always tell, we had a, we had a couple of 64-year-old uh, young, uh, young ladies <laughs> <laughs> traveling with us, uh, and they had a lot of fun. I mean, they said, we told them, okay, there's going to be people being loud, uh, drinking, uh, have, listening to music on the bus <laughs> and uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a mess but if you don't mind you can come and she said no it's okay it's alright and they had a lot of fun we went to Kikinda on on the pumpkin days with them and it was great so <laughs> beautiful so anybody who, who wants to travel and who have who has a, a young mentality so you can come and travel with us do it and you know one last thing we're, we're gonna leave you with we're, we're, this organization is closely tied with the National Tourism Organization of Serbia and they're doing a big huge thing right now that's beautiful. Their, their theme now and their campaign is called Lifestyle Serbia. And Lifestyle Serbia was actually thought up by these uh, a, a big brainstorm between the youth and the tourism organization and they're trying to to display Serbia in a different light. We all know when you go to Google you look up Serbia there's a lot of negativity Every single thing we do now with pictures, with any positive post, you put a hashtag Lifestyle Serbia and that's going to help push all that negativity down where it needs to be. The idea so. is for everybody to participate, everybody to show Serbia from their own point of view and for people not to be able to find bad things about Serbia on, on the internet anymore. So everything you post on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, on, ev on any social network, you just add hashtag lifestyle Serbia to it and uh, your post is going to be visible uh, on Facebook it's important to make your posts public if you want it to be seen but on Instagram on Twitter you can just do it and everybody's going to be able to find it and you're going to be contributing to the promotion of Serbia and uh, what else uh, and it's going to be a great way of great help just add hashtag lifestyle Serbia yeah. that's it that's it man see you <laughs>